can change over time. And that includes bad guys. Wario. Mario's fat rival. Rivalry. And Knuckles, the echidna that doesn't a chuckle. He's the brain, I'm the main man. And today we're going to put these two into a fictional fight. Knuckles is one powerful echidna. Knuckles' main weapon is, well, what else? His knuckles. His fists are so powerful he can knock brown down trees. He can even punch the ground so hard he made a volcano erupt. His knuckles also give him increase of strength. Like lifting up a giant robot. Or even the Master Emerald itself. Knuckles also has the ability to glide. And can hit his arm so fast he can dig through the ground. And one time, he punched Supersonic in the face. So hard, in fact, all the Chaos Emeralds fell out. Man, you think with all this power, no wonder he fights Sonic all the time. Except he has a lot of weaknesses. Number one, he's kind of an idiot. Yeah, Knuckles doesn't know the difference between left and right. And one time didn't even realize he was eating a napkin. Hey, at least he finished every bite. Well, this is one echidna you don't want to meet. Wario is the fat rivalry to Mario. How isn't he a rival? Wario's got a ton of abilities on hand. He can spin into the air with the corkscrew move and has his own bike that he can even eat. Yeah, Wario has an appetite ability. He has giant teeth that can, well, eat just about anything. Wario also can use durability as, as a superpower. For example, he can become Flaming Wario when he's fire. Fat Wario makes him invincible for a few seconds. And the Dragon Hat allows him to breathe fire. Wario even survived an explosion that allowed that, that blew up an entire tennis court. Wario also has his uh, farting abilities. He can let out first that it have the power of a nuke. And can use it to launch him into the air. Heck, the guy can survive squished. And when he's squished, he can bounce around like a spring. For a fat guy like him, he also has strength. In the game Wario World, he could pick up giant dinosaurs just like Triceratops. And even once picked up a, a statue of his head. Estimating it's the same size as a Triceratops, it would have to be 25 tons. Well, Wario is one rival you don't want to say so long to. Alrighty, we've done the analysis and the fighters are ready. Get your Game Boys and Genesis is ready, cause here we go!
like Knuckles in this fight had no luckles. Knuckles was definitely a strong fighter. Plus his speed was a lot more powerful than anything Wario has shown to be done. But Wario had every other advantage to win this fight. Right, Wario's durability would come in handy, so Knuckles really didn't have a way to really kill Wario. Plus, Wario's more strength that held the held the held the strength advantage, and his fat Wario and Dragon had abilities pretty much outclassed Knuckles. But one of the main questions about this fight was who could hurt each other the most. And well, Wario had a lot more defense options, so he clearly had the advantage in that. Plus, his more strength than experience with with fight fighting with Mario was extremely helpful. Looks like Wario had the gut to take out Knuckles. The winner is Wario.